Good evening, YouTube. All right, so I got a Pioneer SX626 here. Um, I've been, I uh, just started the restoration process. I'm um, getting ready to put new bulbs in. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Um, I put one layer of deoxid. Um, there is some permanent staining back there. I don't really know how to get that off if I can. I haven't cleaned any uh, preamp stuff back here. Uh, but deoxid DN5 works really good. I mean, it really just ate it up with a nice little brush, and everything was good. Um, so when it comes to replacing the lights, we got to remove all the knobs. Um, I was told to make a diagram, so that's what I've done here. See, I'll just make a quick. You just make a quick diagram, lay it out. Uh, I'm gonna throw my screws, any miscellaneous stuff in there, and uh, here's. The fuse lamps, these are uh, LED upgrades. So, this is my first shot at this. Uh, first, we'll get it powered on here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See the middle lamps out. This one's dull too. See that? Big time. See the AM? Let's get to where the AM that works. To see mono, FM, phono, none of those work. Mic works, aux works. The dial lamp still works, so we're not going to replace that. Try and keep it as original as I can. You know, it glides nice and smooth. Alright, so I guess we'll do this right here. We'll get right into it. That's what we're going to do. Got the faceplate washers and nuts off. You can use needle nose pliers or a crescent wrench, whatever you choose. Put it in my eye. Uh... So now I'm going to get these top screws on top over here. Well, I had a little minor hiccup uh, in the process of taking out the faceplate. One of the silver screws got stripped out. Um, kind of my fault. I was using uh, too small of a screwdriver. Uh, and that's that right there. Um, I was able to still have some threading back in there. I had to drill it out. It didn't take too long, but... Um, so it looks like we'll be buying a new micro screw here. Now, I've heard with this... Uh, piece right here that we're about to take off. I got all the screws off here. Um, they're not supposed to touch it with uh, not supposed to touch it with your hands. So little Home Depot shop cloth. Gotta rip them half so I can use two at a time here. So I've heard that. Um, now I'm not a pro here. And far from it. There we go. And we're in good business right here. Okay. So there's this piece. I'll just slide it along the. So that's where all illumination actually comes from. Kind of tricks you. Because uh, right now it looks solid. Set that over here with the faceplate. Um, you know, let's see what we're working with here. Now that we got it. Oh, yeah. I see them down in there. Oh, boy. This looks fun. Look at that. Get this duner. <laughs> duner. I think I can get this little tuner out of the way here. Oh, baby. So I think maybe it's time to give this thing a power up and see exactly which bulbs are in fact out. I'm gonna plug it in down here and give it a power on. Oh, look at that. Two of the five work. Those look dinky. Just like I thought. Center channel out. So I still haven't even figured out how to get into my signal meter. But, um, 
All right, I'm gonna pop these bad boys out. Okay, first one out. And this is the one that's apparently working, although it looks like complete crap. Um, so the next one, you can give your pliers in here. Just give it a nice good yank. There's another one out. Try not to grab them by the glass either. Uh, that's one of the dead ones. It's nice and yellow. Yeah, look at that. Yuck. Definitely factory. Surprised they lasted this long. Maybe they didn't. Because I'll tell you what, there was some tampering on some of these internal screws when I moved the casing. I'll go ahead and slide that one over a little bit. You don't want to mess your tuner dial up. Get a nice good yank. As I just say, don't grab the glass. I'm sitting there yanking it on the glass. It so here we have. Let's see these babies. These are. Can you guys see here? Okay. So I'm going to just dump these out real quick. These are custom LED lights. Uh, get them online. They hook it up with a quick six pack. Now I think this side is the side that emits the light, so I want that facing outward. Um, I can't replace that one right now at the moment because we are doing the main panel. So, here we are again. Okay. Hopefully you folks can see. I got this on a tripod, so I'm going to get my tuner back over here. Get up out of my way. See if I can get one of these babies in. There's the first one. There's the second one. And you see how dirty you don't get real clean in here. I'm scared to change that out. So right now it's working and that's where it's going to stay. Um, I've heard that's a pain in the butt. Watch some other videos and dude was soldering and all this other jazz. Oh, no, they're good. Okay, we're going to move the tuner over. Three of the five in. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, okay, he's a very nice. Boom. Popping right in, huh? Last one. Popped right in. Okay. Now, before I uh, go ahead and put everything back on, it's safe to give it a tester real quick. Alright, let's see what happens here. Boom, baby. Boom, baby, boom, baby, boom. Here's what the finished product looks like after the LED upgrade. Um, and I replaced these lamps up here. I'm not too happy with that at the moment. It's just too bright. This looks phenomenal. See, my mono, my FM, my Phono 1, and my Phono 2 are still out. Um, but you know, other than that, everything looks great. Look at that. Nice glide.